entryway, maybe a little bit of paint job here. Painting everywhere probably required. Here and here. Everywhere basically. Needs a uh, paint job. The corners, for instance, right? Nothing serious. Here's the closet. What's that? I'm just taking a video here. Here's the bathroom. One of two. Right, I need to speak. Need out crayons. Um, this needs to be fixed. Make sure. Uh, need some caulking here. Needs to sand this down and basically put some plaster on and paint it. It was done once before. This needs to be done again. Uh, similar thing for up here. This is a light. Light doesn't actually work. That needs to be replaced, uh, taken out, recalked, and fixed here. Sand it down, repaint it a little bit. Not a big deal. Master bedroom. This needs to be tossed, it's quite heavy. But it's here for now. It's a king size bed right now. You probably save a lot of room if with a with a better frame, not a platform, not the thickness here, not the thickness there, which is more than a foot really. Put a queen here and you'd be all set too. Um, this isn't, hasn't been working. We always have these, um, I mean, over the eight years we've had problems and there's just some switch needs to be fixed or maybe I turned it off. Uh, the, there's a device down there. Easily fixed. The superintendent will not have fixed that. If we can't find someone. Master bathroom. The light needs to be replaced. It's a tube fluorescent. That light needs to be replaced up there. You actually need to uncock it. There's caulking around it. So you need to kind of rip that off. It's been done many times. Not a big deal. This is a little loose. Not in the works, but kind of loose. Probably some anyone could fix that. Um, really needs to be cleaned. I've done it many times before. We just put Clorox with bleach, wipe it down. The Clorox with bleach gets rid of the, the stains and you just disappear. Windex here, same thing as Windex here. This is kind of damaged. Same with the other bathroom. Here, nothing to do. Maybe just scratch this off. This caulking. And you want to replace that. Master bedroom closet. It's actually pretty high it's it's quite high up there actually so you could do double layers so one rip this out have one hanger up here another hanger up here and you can have two layers this is this is one foot here that's another foot it's like two and a half feet of extra space up there comes with these blinds. This is opaque. It's pretty expensive. The ones we, we bought. I forget where we bought them from, but they're pretty expensive and solid. This is a dining table. 
and oh, this space works pretty well actually. You can seat four normally and if people come over you just pull it out. You have these soft cushions down here, you just pull it out real easy. Put two extra chairs there and you have, still have a lot of space here for six people. And when it's not in use, just shove it back in. Here is the second bedroom. Um, this can be tossed. You have a bunk bed there. This is a, is that, you know, a decent sized bunk bed, I guess. And then here's a, a crib. You could put it where the bunk bed is. That's where we used to have it. Um, no issues with this room. It needs to be painted. Every room needs to be painted, but no issues. We installed these, which are kind of nice, you can see. That's a 27 inch monitor. You could actually put a 30 inch monitor in here. We did have one there before. It worked there. This unit, uh, I forget what the thing is called, the regulator or whatever is is busted. It works, it needs to be replaced. The superintendent can, um, can replace that. We've been using just the single P-Tank unit for the last year and the single one's fine. Minus three degrees in the winter. That puts out enough heat for everyone. For every room. So, here's a uh, living room. Right. This here, this, this thing is five feet. This is a cushion. And so let me just show you where the sofa could go. That's five feet long, so you know you could have a double. We had a triple sectional here. Great tree line views, winter views of the snow when it comes. These stickers need to be removed. I'm sure it can be done. We've started ripping some off. I think some water, some effort. These stickers need to be removed. It's a little dent here. A little plaster. Um, there's a, a little crack here. This needs to be filled in and painted. Um, these blinds are really expensive, same as the other ones. They're actually half or somewhat transparent so you can see through them and it lets through sunlight during the day. They get super bright here because the sun actually comes from here um, anytime after 1 or 2 p.m. Um, these are solid. This is aluminum steel. Uh, this is a little is a little bit well it's not loose but i had to put an extra screw in there because it was getting loose so be careful when you pull this down just be gentle with it i guess what else All right, in this room, I guess we left the window open one day and you can see this is raised a little bit. It got water got in and it's raised. I guess it was swollen and discolored a little bit. It's hard to see right, right here. It needs to be sanded down and repainted.
Here's the closet. That's actually pretty wide. Same height. What else? That's it, really. Oh, this is, this doesn't, the fan hasn't worked for a while. And it doesn't, uh, the exhaust doesn't go outside, it just recirculates and comes out the top, so it's not that useful actually. The lights, there are no lights. Uh, they need to be replaced, I guess. Um, and it just generally needs to be clean. Alright, it's pretty dirty. Yeah, it looks decent from far away, but there's a lot of oil probably up there. Um, and this is, you know, heat comes from up here, this is cutting off. If you clean it, uh, you could, if you clean this, you could probably just glue this back on, it'll be fine. Same with this side. There's some outlets that are a little bit loose. The, these are all original. Um, and they still work, we've been careful, you see, not to put light, uh, not to put heavy stuff in, so it doesn't wreck the, the rails. So, this is it, we've been taking good care of that eight years. This thing was busted. Same with this. So, there's that. There's that. There's a little bit of like water damage here where it's coming off a little bit. Same with, same with uh, the bathroom. I here, see. It's not bad after eight years, but it could be replaced. This thing works. The fridge works. The concrete needs to be redone. The fridge works perfectly fine. Nothing is really busted. I think the only thing is maybe this is. A little deformed, it's not even. We could tw twist that back up a bit. There. Um, it's a good fridge. We never had it serviced. It just it still works. And the freezer. No, a piece of this in the back is broken. Crack, a, a mini, mini crack, but. I can't even see it, it's at the back, but it works. It's fine, and it looks fine. This needs to be cleaned. This is pretty dirty. Someone needs to clean it. Ideally. Or you could just sell it as this. Fire alarms definitely work. We had blinds up here, but never installed them. And that's about it. There are a lot of minor scratches on the floor here. None over there because we always had padding over it. See those big patterns? That's it.